filmmaking in Lagos is a fast and furious affair. We really have to walk real, real fast. We work on the very, very tight budget. Like the executive producer puts down money for us to do this film project. The money will only permit us to do this project for, um, say, 10 days. All right, come forward, come forward a bit more. Moses E. Wan is one of Nollywood's most popular directors. And today he's on location for his latest film. Nollywood Hustler. Moses has thrived in an industry where entire feature films are often written, filmed, and on the screen, and all in less than a month. Once you hit location, you have to do like a fire brigade approach to everything. That's why most of the time you see us, we, we, we are always like firefighters, always in a rush. Uh, that's how we do it here. Nollywood filmmakers have become famous around the world for this guerrilla approach. God, Mara, why you stop there now? In fact, Nollywood Hustler is a send-up of the Nigerian film industry. Like most cameramen here, Austin often works without electricity or proper equipment and on budgets that wouldn't pay for a Hollywood lunch. But the one thing that Austin doesn't lack is passion. Yeah, you know, we Nigerians, we have strength. We have, you know, we, we have the energy to do, to do, to make it happen. And we are determined that, yes, we want to achieve this, and we, then we achieve it. Even if you have to work 24 hours a day? I'm telling you, 24 hours we work. You no, know, even, even if they say overnight, three days, we non-stop, we, we do it. Okay, then, um, let's, let's go to some studio and just check it out. What do you think? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Let's go right there. Today, Austin is shooting a scene that takes place inside a moving car. And instead of using special effects or modified trucks, he has to do it the old-fashioned way. I have passion for what I do. I love it. So whenever I'm with it, I play with it, and I, I'm, I'm always I'm, I'm excited when I see a camera. Nollywood is now the second largest film production center in the world, turning out more than 2,000 films a year. And it's developed its own distinctive style. One of its hallmarks is expressive acting. It's a style that looks unrealistic to Western audiences, but director Moses Iwan says that directing African stories demands a different approach. I will not make my actors act like Westerners. The Africans are very dramatic in the way they, they react to things, in the way they talk about things, than the Westerners. So that is why that also has to reflect in the kind of movies we make. I am not going to release the tape to you. Second, I am going to so lock you up. One of Nollywood Hustler's stars is Ramsey Noah. He's one of Nigeria's most famous faces and a firm believer in Nollywood's value as an African voice. If I lay my hands on them, oh, Lord have mercy on their souls. I am so, so proud. Yeah, I love the fact that I can project our image, our way of life and our culture to the people out there. And it, those who already know, they want to see it again because some of the Africans um, we have in diaspora, they, they left Africa a long time ago and they start up a new life but they want to be identified, or they want to know what's going on back home. As soon as each film is finished, it hits markets like this one across Nigeria and all over Africa. The kinds of films you'll find here is constantly changing as Nigerian cinema evolves. Nigerian viewers are, uh, are now advanced, okay? Um, they want to see uh, better quality movies. They want to see better storylines, um, even though our own um, African storylines better told, okay, uh, better shot, better directed, and all that. And there's one place where many of those new ideas are coming from. This unassuming corner of Lagos is actually a creative crucible and the absolute center of Nigeria's staggeringly productive film industry. Nestled under Winnie's Hotel, it's a collection of cafes and street stalls where just about everyone you meet is an actor, a director, 
a photographer or a screenwriter. I'm keen, I'm, I'm determined to make sure my next uh, movie is um, not in English, but in a local language. Um, For Nigeria, Winnie's is a bit like the famed Left Bank in Paris or New York's Greenwich Village. And like you rightly pointed out, there's certain things you want to say that have no equivalent in, um, in, in English, for instance, you know. And the result of these long debates has been a fearless approach to some of Africa's toughest issues. Nollywood, I will confidently tell you, has brought a lot of changes, positive changes at that. <laughs> Stella Damasos is a leading actress and producer. She was thrust into the spotlight while making the film Widows, a story about the harassment and ostracization facing young widows in West Africa. Excuse me, doctor. That man in there is my husband, so you had better start talking. Uh, it's all right, doctor. You can talk. Um, I'm so sorry, sir. We did our best to save you, but... You couldn't do that. You did what? You did what? You did what? You did what? Please, Nina. I did the film in August 2004, but I did it 80%. I, we didn't finish shooting because we had issues on location. And then a few months after, in December, my husband died. And I went through all kinds of things that were so shocking. There, there, there were too many things that happened in the movie that was so real to me at that point. And I, I was like, oh my goodness, is this really what a lot of women go through? After her husband's death, Stella nevertheless pushed through to finish the film, and it had an enormous impact. Stella met other widows like Jamia and has become a fierce advocate for widows' rights. I met over 100 women in different places who started calling me, who, who told me that um, I, will, I have become a, um, like a role model for them. They were touched by the fact that I was a representative of all of them. What did you just say? I said, go to hell! <laughs> Many of Nollywood's best filmmakers have a cause. This film, Emotional Crack, was produced by MME Song. He dealt with white battery, and that was very close to my heart because um, I feel that uh, so much abuse of women is really going on in Africa, but and we're, we're quiet about it. And as a female filmmaker, these are some of the issues I want to bring out and, we, and tell the women folk we don't have to keep quiet about this, we've got to fight it. As I get out of this place, I'll go to Chidi's house and get my things. Award-winning filmmaker Tundi Kalani says that Nollywood has been so successful because these heartfelt, homegrown stories connect to people in a way that American blockbusters can't. Nollywood is nothing more, again, than therapy. Therapy to, the, to Africans who have been deprived you know, of so many things, who have been disappointed by their various governments, you know, who could only hope, you know. So f rather than everybody going mad and crazy, I think they found solace in a cushion, a support in Nollywood film. Kalani's Nollywood career spans three decades. As one of the industry's pioneers, he's proud of the challenges that it's overcome. You know how difficult it is to make a film without electricity, and that's not enough to stop Nigerians. You know how difficult it is to, is it to make films when the rules are bad, but that's not enough to stop the professionals of Nollywood. They have to make everything, make their own um, electricity, make your own water. You know, if there's shortage of petrol, they have to find it, but nothing has been able to stop them so far. Hi, from Nollywood. 
Tonight is a red carpet event designed to create a buzz around the latest film by MME Song and Moses Iwan. And the glitterati of Nigerian cinema are here. We keep improving by the day. Technology is better, and of course there's more money. At the time we started, there was hardly any money in the industry. Nollywood Fair has now become one of Nigeria's top exports. And perhaps more importantly, the industry is providing a much needed boost to Nigerian pride. A lot of people just enjoy it all over the world. It's everywhere, Nollywood is everywhere. The actors are getting massive publicity fame everywhere in every part of the world. So at first, I, I think it's basically the kind of stories we do, natural African stories. You, why can't you talk? Talk! Talk! Nonsense! Why are you, why are you? God, God, thank you, thank you.